What up, mother effers? Y'all better listen up because in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to get new messages from the server. So let me just go ahead and make a little prompt. So this function is going to get uh, new messages. And let me capitalize that. Get new messages. So it's going to be a public function. And let's go ahead and name this something creative. Get new messages. And the first piece of information that we have to pass in is the ID number. So by default, we're going to set this to zero. Now what the heck is the ID number? Well, whenever we store messages in your table, each message has an ID number. Now, every user that joins your chat room is going to pretty much tell where what messages do you want to read. That's what they're basically going to say. So whenever you're chatting with a friend, you don't want to retrieve all the messages each time. So if you guys have sent 100 messages to each other, you don't want to run a query that retrieves all 100 messages. You only want to read, or you basically only want to check your server for any new messages. However, if someone comes into the chat room for the first time, they are going to want to read those previous messages or like the last 50 or something. So those are the two different types of user. The users who are going to run a query and check for new messages, the ones who have been chatting for a while, or the ones who have just come into your chat room and for them, we're going to show them, you know, like the last 50 messages or something. And this is where you can kind of customize your chat room to, you know, however you want to develop it, but I'm going to show you guys a very cool way to do this. So basically, by default, ID equals zero, which basically means start from the very beginning, um, you know, go way back and get all of the messages. Now, we can go ahead and override this and set this equal to this, my SQL I real, let me copy this. Don't feel like typing it. Laziness, it is, okay, just missed something else though. Real escape string ID. So basically what we're gonna do is, whenever we wanna read new messages, we're gonna set the default at zero. So by default, you're gonna query the database and read all messages ever in history for that chat room. However, you can go ahead and override this. So this ID number is going to come from the user or the client's computer. Now, if they have been in the chat room and they've been chatting for a while, then they're going to have a number other than zero. So for example, if me and you were chatting and we sent each other 100 messages, then my ID number is going to be 100. So that way I can tell the database only get the new messages that come that are greater than 100. In that way, it, it helps out us, our server a little bit because that way it doesn't have to return all the messages, it only returns the new ones. So the first thing we have to check is, all right, is the user's ID number greater than zero? Let me go ahead and give myself a little bit more space. So basically, if the user only wants the messages that are greater than zero, then let's go ahead and give them the new messages only. So of course for this, we need to build a query. And I guess I can do it like, I'll do it like this. So the query for this is just select and what we need is basically saying, okay, give the give us the information or give us the messages. So the first thing is message ID, which is in fact the ID number. And the other thing we need is the username, message itself, the color, and date format, which is posted on. And now as a second parameter, we actually have to build the format itself. So I'm just gonna put the hours, I'm just gonna um, print the time, the minutes, which is percent I, and the seconds, which is percent S. And if you guys don't know what I'm doing right now, this is like my SQL language, so. All right, so what we wanna do whenever we read a new message or 
whenever we want to display a message to the user, what we need is the message ID, the username, the message itself, the color, and what time the message was posted. And my freaking dog is barking right now, so sorry if you hear that. Now, we return this, but we actually have to say return this as, we have to name it something. So as posted on from, of course, chat where the message ID is greater than the ID number. So what we did right now is we basically said, for example, me and you are chatting and we have a hundred messages that we sent back and forth to each other. So I'm going to say, okay, give me the messages that are greater than 100 because I'm already looking at zero through 100. So I don't care if they're, I don't care about those ones. I, I'm seeing them already. Only return any new messages that you may type 100 and above. Now, whenever you return them, order Make sure this is in my proper. All right, order by message ID ascending because you want them to go low to high. So send me 101, 102, 103. So what this is going to do is it's going to be constantly updating, showing you any new messages. Now this query is perfect if we've been chatting for a while, but what if someone new comes into the chat room and they don't have an ID yet, they, don't, they weren't chatting with you previously? Well, by default, we're just going to display to them the, 50, the last 50 messages that were on the server so they can kind of see what we've been chatting about. So this is how you do that. Go ahead and run another query. And uh, I guess I can go ahead and build it like the last one. Now this query is going to be a little bit different. So select and let's see, I guess I can copy this. Message ID, username, message color. Select message ID, username, message color, and also post it on. 